So in this quick activity, let's talk about this right here. This is a Zoom Super Fluke Junior swimming version on a weighted swim hook. This is by far my favorite pond bait I ever fish. I mean, drop shot catches a lot of fish, it really does, but I like fishing this a little bit more. Zachary Jeter, this fish is wearing lipstick ready to kiss you. This is for you, Zachary Jeter. Get him. I can fish this in any application pretty much and I still catch fish any part of the season depending on temperature and all that stuff. So let's uh, kind of get into it and show you how I rig it and what lines and stuff I like to use with it. So first off, this is an owner. This is an owner right here. This is a two watt swim hook right here. It's got the twist lock on the front of it right there. So the way I thread this on, put that right in the center of the bait, push it down, just thread it up. These owner springs are a little, little big for this. Normally I, uh, I've got different ones that I use. I got smaller springs I use, but I don't have any right now. They're, I'm, I gotta go buy some more. I usually use a little bit smaller twist locks, but these are kind of big, but these are the stock ones that came with it. All right, so once the bait's twisted on there, just like so, take it, measure out where the hook's gonna come in. Right there. And then there you go. Now, I always put super glue on this right here at the very end hook right here. I get it. Uh, I use super glue that has a little brush on it. Paint it right here. Hold it there for about 30 seconds, and then that right there is locked into place. But after a, after a fish hits it, um, more than likely uh, it's going to break, and you have to re super glue it. So that is how you rig it. Very simple little rig right there. Now, let's talk about colors that I use. For this setup, for this bait, I use three main colors. Okay, Crazy Chrome, this is amazing for sunlight. I uh, kind of like what we have right here. It really gives off a lot of flash, especially in the sunlight. Um, another main color I use is Smoke and Shad right here. And then also I'll use the Pearl. Pearl I don't use as much as I use the Crazy Chrome and the Smoke and Shad but probably 60% of the time I'm using that smoke and shad color because that looks the most natural to me. But in super sunny days like right now, no clouds, that crazy chrome is gonna be amazing, especially in really clear water. Now I'm not gonna fish this bait in really nasty stained water. This is a sight bait. The fish have got to see it in order to hit it. There are two rod and reel combos I use for this in comparison, you know, in conjunction to each other. The first one is a Concept A 13 Fishing 5 3 to 1 gear ratio reel. It's got 10 pound fluorocarbon on it. This is the rod. It's an Abu Garcia Vartos 2.0 rod, 7 foot medium action. I like a medium action because you want that rod tip to give when that fish grabs it because I don't want to rip it out of his mouth. Mouth. And this is more of a, to me this is finesse technique right here because that bait's so little. So I want to make sure I have a nice rod tip that gives a good bit. So this right here is when I'm trying to fish that bait just a little bit deeper. Um, but during the, sp the spring, the spawn phases, I'm going to use mono to keep the bait up just a little bit above their heads so they can see it whizzing by. When I'm fishing pre-spawn and post-spawn, this is going to be my main rod and reel setup right here.
And then the second one, when the spawn's on, when they're, you know, on the beds, they're in not even a foot of water. This is going to be my setup. This is a loose speed spool. This is a six four to one gear ratio reel. It's got 12 pound monofilament on it. Um, the reason I fish mono is because it's going to keep the bait up. And I like this a little bit faster gear ratio reel because I'm going to whiz it over their heads so I get a reaction strike. Um, but if I need to kill it, I can kill it and let it go down in their beds and it works great. Rod's also a seven foot medium action Abu Garcia Veritas rod. So, yeah. Hope you like it, guys. Enjoyed this video. Um, really, give give this bait a try. It you you really catch an amazing amount of fish. This bait is great all year round. You know, during the winter time, you have to slow down your presentation a lot. And another reason this is my favorite pond bait is sizing it down. In any pond application, you want to fish a little bit smaller bait because you know 70% of the time the fish are just going to be just a little bit smaller. But there have been a few instances where I pulled five pound bass out of this little tiny pond in one of my in my top water video I think it was one of my first videos I made um, I caught like a four and a half five pound bass out of this tiny little pond it's crazy but so you know majority of the time you want to size down but give this bait a try you will be amazed at how many fish you catch on this this is a zoom super fluke junior swimming version on a weighted swim hook size two size two swim hook and I believe this is an owner hook but give this bait a try and you'll be amazed at how many fish you catch on this and don't forget the super glue well thank you for the, watching this video I'll see you guys in my next quick video take it easy